Outside the Box with me, Casey Davis. I'm so glad and excited that you are here. And I hope that wherever you are, you are in some cool AC. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Because where I'm at, it has been hot, like amazingly hot. I mean, this is probably the hottest summer I've experienced in a very, very long time. And summer really just began. And I mean, it's blazing. I mean, seriously, it has been um, in the three digits the past few days. I mean, today is actually 107 degrees right now. The heat index is. So it's been hot. But I thank God that I have AC that is working. And I have plenty of fluids, you know, water and things to keep me hydrated. So, yeah, I can't complain about that. So, glory to God for AC. You know, I can't be sweating. Mm -mm, I can't be sweating. All right. <laughs> Let's get this show started. You ain't my mama. You can't tell me what to do. All right. Fun facts, you guys. Number one, I want to thank everyone for sending in their fun facts. And if you have fun facts or a fun quote or even a joke that you want me to share with the world, you can send them at KCTV at Yahoo.com. That's KCTV at Yahoo.com. So our first fun fact comes from one of my lovely viewers. And she goes by the name of It's Shay Marie. And her fun fact is this. Do you not know that Barbie, the Barbie doll, Mattel Barbie doll, her full legal name is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Barbara Millicent Roberts. That's the name. Mm-hmm. All right. So is Roberts her maiden name or married name? Because, you know, Barbara's been married a few times. I mean, her and Ken, they, they get together and then they're not together. They get together and they're not together. I mean, what's up with their relationship? I mean, seriously, they need to work it out. They need they need some counseling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, Miss Roberts is Barbie's first last name. Miss Roberts. All right, Barbie. All right, Miss Roberts. We got you. We got you. All right. Thank you, Ishay Marie, for sending in that glorious fact. And if you have any more, send them on in. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's go to the next fun fact. Now, this fun fact, or the next couple of fun facts, are actually some jokes. Okay, so y'all ready for some jokes? All right, here we go. <laughs> the first joke is this. Why did the skeleton go to the party alone? Because he had nobody to go with. Get it? Nobody. The skeleton had nobody to go with. Ha ha. Okay. The third one. Okay. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Get it? No teeth. Gums. Come on, guys. Laugh at my jokes. You gotta laugh. You have to laugh at my jokes. Okay? Or I will... Something. <laughs> you guys, you didn't know it was fun. You know it was fun. A gummy bear. Okay? Gummy bear. No, not scary bear. Gummy bear. <laughs> okay. All right. Here's another one. What did the traffic light say to the car? Don't look, I'm changing. <laughs> okay, all right. Come on guys, lighten up, okay? Get it? Don't look, I'm changing the light changes, you know? All right, so, okay, this last fun fact is not a joke, I know y'all probably like, thank God, okay, but it's actually a little, you know, fun quote. It says, knowledge is knowing that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is not putting it in your fruit salad. Yes. <laughs> Nobody wants tomatoes in their fruit salad, okay? 
So once again, thank everyone who sent me some fun facts, fun jokes, fun quotes, and all that good stuff. So you guys know what to do. KCTV at Yahoo.com. Okay. All right. So my review of the week. It's a very awesome review. And let me get it all set up here. This review is actually a book that I've been reading for the past few weeks. And it's by a man named Pastor Joseph Prince. Oh, his name is not Pastor, okay. He is a pastor and he's from the Philippines. And the name of this book is called Destined to Reign by Pastor Joseph Prince. This book is all about the grace and the love of God. This man has an anointing on his life to reveal to believers and those who don't believe what God's love is all about and his grace and what it really means. And he breaks it down in such a simple, simple, simple format that it's so easy to understand, but yet it's so powerful. And once you really read this book for the first time, when you read this book for the first time, I'm telling you, you will never, ever, ever see God the same ever. Even if, and I encourage those people who may be struggling with their belief and, you know, maybe you don't understand God's love and, you know, what God is all about and who he is. And maybe you don't understand why bad things happen. And if God is, has so much love for people and things like that, then why do bad things happen to them? And, and why is the world falling all apart if God is so gracious and so loving? This book right here will help you understand God's love and grace a lot better. So I encourage you people that may, you know, may be struggling with that concept of God's love and grace um, to read this book. This book is so, so awesome. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read a few, um, quotes from the book that I bookmark myself. And, um, it's, it's really awesome. One of them says, because of the cross of Jesus, you will never be punished for your sins again. Never again, never again. The next one says, today you are blessed because the Lord no longer counts your sins against you because of the cross. Yes. You know, we've been taught, um, a lot of people have been taught incorrectly and believe that we have to work for God's love. And that we have to work for his grace. But you don't. You really, really don't. It's already been paid for through Jesus and his dying on the cross. God love is always there he always will love you no matter what you've done or what you're going to do or all these things it's already there we don't have to work for God's love we just have to accept it you know awesome book I'll read one more um it says the more you realize that you are righteous the more victory you will experience over sin. For those of us who are born again believers and have and have accepted Christ as Lord and Savior of our lives, the more you accept the fact that you are righteous, that you have been made righteous through Jesus Christ, the power of sin will no longer have any power over you. You will walk in victory. Oh my God, I can go on and on about this book, but I'm telling you, get the book. I downloaded it on my own. Um, on my iPad here and it's in the iBook store and I believe it was nine dollars and ninety nine cents for the book. Um it's also available on Kindle, uh Amazon, uh, and pretty much anywhere books are sold, you can get this book. I really encourage you to get this book. It's called Destined to Rain by Pastor Joseph Prince. It's an awesome book and it's just it's it's beautiful. So if this is my review of the week, get the book and I know you will enjoy it. My inspiration of the week is sort of, you know, kind of coming off from my review of the week, talking about God's love and his grace and not having to work hard and try to earn his love. You know, I've been around the world all my life. My parents, they're ministers of the gospel, they're pastors, and I've been taught and I've been um, 
rooted and grounded in the word pretty much all my life. And um, but I've had my set of challenges. I've had my set of things that I've been through that I had to learn to use my faith for. And um, it hasn't always been a cakewalk for me, you know. And for me, you know, I I used to struggle with, or I've struggled with, even in the recent past, with acceptance. And really, really believing and accepting the fact that God does not hold my past against me. You know, I've done some things that I'm not proud of. But things that I really don't have to walk around ashamed of anymore. Because God doesn't hold my past against me. He doesn't remember it. He doesn't account it to my account or anything. He trusts me just the same as he did in the very beginning. The plan for my life is still in effect. You know, God doesn't quit love enough because we do something. And it's all because of the blood of Jesus. It's all because of the grace and the love that so he is love. He is grace. I mean, he can't stop being what he is. So I am learning how to truly, truly accept that. So when one, when, when you begin to realize and accept that grace and that love, it will keep you from wanting to do wrong. I know that may sound strange sometimes, but seriously, the more you accept that, the more you accept how much God loves you, it will keep you from falling into sin. Now, we may fall, you know, we may fall, we might make mistakes, but it won't be as frequent, it won't be as often as it used to be, because this love will keep us, the revelation of how much God loves us will keep us from falling into sin, because we just want to be so pleasing to him. But understanding that God's love is not based off of how good we are. You know, when God deals with people, it's on an equal playing field. He made it possible for every person, every person to experience this kind of love and this kind of grace. And um, I'm so grateful for that. And um, just like in my review, this book has really, really helped me grab hold of that and really embrace that for myself. How much God really, really loves me. So I encourage you to accept the revelation that God loves you beyond your mistakes, beyond your flaws. He don't see what you see. He doesn't. He sees the finished work. He sees your beginning and end at the same time. And he has your future. He has your end already mapped out for you, which is something fabulous and great. So when, he, when he's seeing all this stuff that you might be doing wrong or whatever, he don't. he's not looking at that. He's looking at what he created you to be. That's awesome to me. So yes, I am inspired today because of God's love. So I hope that it inspires you as well. So today, I decree and declare that in your day, you shall walk in the love and the grace and you will receive and finally for the first time, Feel that you are loved by God and know that you are loved by God and accept that and walk in that power, walk in that grace of his love. And uh, I believe today is going to be a powerful day for you and a favorable day for you. I decree and declare it in Jesus name. So guys, have a wonderful day, a wonderful Monday. Have one because yeah, just have a good day because you decided to have a good day. All right, I'm going to go because my computer says I'm running out of space. So I have to go now. And I hope everyone has a blessed Monday. Um, KCTV at Yahoo.com if you want to talk to me or email me anything that's appropriate. I appreciate that. So you guys, be blessed. I love you and i see you next time. And guys, don't forget to download my group's new single, Rooftop, now available on iTunes. Thanks a lot.